Hey everyone, what's going on? Greg here again from TM Blast. In this video, I want to go over what Bing knows about with my website and how important entity building is for both Google and Bing. So in this video, we're just going to focus on Bing. So if you search for TM Blast and Bing, you get the uh, Bing Places for Business information right over here, and you get my knowledge panel on the right hand side. And on the knowledge panel, you can see I have things like Chamber of Commerce, 24 Reviews, and also UpCity as well. So these are third party sites now that Bing is pulling into the knowledge panel. And of course you get the traditional listings uh, down below here. Bing also has this really cool um, explore this page where you can kind of highlight and you get some uh, quick facts about my website. But what I wanna show you real quick is you can look up, see what Bing knows about with your business. So do TM Blast in quotes. Uh, dot com and then you do uh, TM Blast again and then you do minus site tmblast.com so really I'm saying to Bing show me everything you have on the web around tmblast.com or just the word TM Blast that is not on my website so first when you hit enter you're going to get this co-pilot feature on Bing that's actually going to pull information based off potentially my website and also third-party websites as well to get a com comprehensive view of what TM Blast is about so you get over here, TM Blast, 2017, location, this is all good. This is NAP, name, address, phone number. Um, what I really like is this, you know, it's a legitimate website, positive reviews, high trust score. Basically, if you're interested in SEO services, it might be worth exploring. So that's actually something based off Scam Advisor that they have. They have some information and what they do is they look at things like Google reviews and they look at Trust Index and they look at Chamber of Commerce and, and UpCity and any other type of review um, that's out there. And they kind of compile a lot of that information together to kind of show if this is a uh, safe website to uh, to do business with. So that's always good to see. And that, in my opinion, is a ranking factor within Bing because now they have all this third party information saying that this is a legitimate website and business at this address, everything like that. Of course, you get my YouTube channel over here. Trust Index comes up immediately. This is when Bing really uses that website. Scam Advisor, Plan Legend, a website that I own. Not too much uh, right there. Then you got saratoga.com. So one thing I really talk about uh, to potential clients, and even my local clients too, is how critical it is to get on local directories. So for me, my business is in Saratoga. So of course, I'm going to be on saratoga.com. And I have uh, all my information here. You can call this website and contact us. This is critical because Bing is now kind of you know combining the different factors together. So they know my name, they know my address, they know my phone number. They also know that I'm listed on relevant directories as well. Uh, and it's all been crawled and indexed by Bing's index. So they know TM Blast is associated with saratoga.com uh, or so associated with Saratoga. And of course, it's an SEO company. Um, so if you want to go to, let's say, page two, let's go through a few of these just so you can see. You got a few other sites here. It's same reviews, another website that I own. Let's keep going through. Let's go to like page six. I'm just curious what's on this. Let's see, trust index. All this kind of stuff. Um, SEO on page, um, a bunch of you know, a bunch of websites. So I can already see here that there's enough information that Bing has around uh, the entity of my of my uh, my website. What you can do is you can go to now to Bing Webmaster Tools or Microsoft Bing Webmaster Tools. You want to go to backlinks over here, and when you go to backlinks, now this is everything that Bing knows in their knowledge, uh, the knowledge of my website of, of who's linking out to me. So I have a few things over here. Uh, first, let's go to slide number so I can click on this. You can see here how Greg used this slide number for a sports business. And we have the anchor text is TM Blast, goes back to my website. That's one example uh, that Bing knows about that they crawled in the index and they see the brand name right there. In fact, you can actually go to anchor text over here and you can sort by uh, the anchor text of, of who is linking out. So I'm gonna go to backlink count over here and sort it one more time. And you can see that visit website tmblast.com, tmblast, tmblast.com, everything else like that. Um, one thing that I like to share with uh, potential clients, even my clients that I have, is that, that it's the diversity of your backlink anger text and also if it's brand specific, those are positive signs and signals to Google and also obviously Bing. Um, that your website is kind of like this brand that they should be showing. What I've seen is that a lot of SEOs or uh, websites will have like very specific anchor text. So say like, you know, uh, let's say if you're another SEO agency, you might say like best SEO company or affordable SEO or cheap SEO or anything else like that. Cause like you're trying to build links with the exact anchor text. And when Bing kind of looks at that, it seems a little natural because most people just kind of link out to like your brand name. But very few will use like an actual like non-brand um, if they're kind of, you know, talking about your type of service. Like they might use like a non-brand if you have like a blog post or a service, but most of the time it's going to be brand search. 
and brand uh, brand anchor tag. So I think this is a big part of um, what Bing's looking at, but let's go back to domains uh, real quick. I wanna show you something. So let's go to, so we have a trust index here. You can see there's a lot of things that they have about my business. Let's look up, I'm gonna sort it by, uh, let's see if Saratoga comes up, yeah. Saratoga.com, right over here, you can click on it. You can see, so it says visit website, target URL is tmblast.com. I'll go back one more. I have this other one from Albany, so you can see here, albany.com. Uh, and same thing, so business services, marketing, SEO, visit website, tmblast.com. So uh, I share all this because if you go back into a brand search for TM Blast, I've been doing a lot of entity building within both search engines. And again, we're gonna focus on Bing. Bing has seen now with my YouTube videos that I've created, I'm really focused on local SEO. Um, I have a lot of videos about it. Um, I talk about it. I even blog about it with, and I have, I have cases about it as well. So they're kind of now associated TM Blast with also the brand phrase of TM Blast local SEO. When you search for it, you get the knowledge panel, both on the right-hand side and also the map and Bing's uh, knowledge of my website only continues to grow as they see more places to talk about it, get listed on YouTube videos, et cetera, et cetera. So I share all this because again, we really focus a lot on Google. You can do like, the same type of um, methodology with you know the site command and going to Google Search Console, but if Bing is a focus of your website traffic, you might also wanna get an idea of what Bing knows about your website. Do the search command over here one more time is tmblast.com or for you would be example.com and then quotes one more time and then minus your actual website and you want to get an idea of exactly what bing knows about uh, for your business so backlinks for me they're not the biggest part of my seo strategy but there's some though that i find it, it is important because from an entity standpoint you just want to make sure that bing and also google understand that your website has reputable sources that are talking about it and linking out to it and mentioning it and therefore it kind of gives like more positive re reinforcement to both search engines that they should you know potentially show you for the services that you provide so anyway i hope this video was interesting and helpful let me know if you guys have any questions and as always have a good rest of your day